What's up everybody and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be walking you through the engine setup of my S10 Obelisk. And it's a simple build, but yet effective. And that's just like me, I don't got a whole lot of money put into a motor. But what we can build, it will be fun. And for those of you that have not followed the Facebook page and don't know, this video is for you. What we have, I have a small block Chevrolet that's been bored 30 over. Now I rebuilt this thing completely. All new freeze plugs, double timing chain, uh, hydraulic lifters. I bought a Summit rebuild kit with those flat top pistons in it. It's got a Summit 1107 cam in it. And that cam, in case you haven't heard it, look it up, guys. That thing sounds great. Uh, it's got stock rods. And it's 10 under bearings. It's a uh, no, it won't rev real high, about six grand, I guess, but it will be a lot of fun. All I need is a set of heads, and that is uh, my next goal. Got to pick them up. I got a buddy actually holding a set for me. Just got to get a little money together. There's some Trick Flow aluminum heads, 190 cc, ought to work real well with this setup. Now, my top end, and the heads you know about. But what we got put into it, we have a Holly Street Dominator. I don't know if I can get a good picture of that or not. Street Dominator, aluminum intake with a spacer. It wasn't really a high rise. As you can see how it flows, it flows really good. So I put a spacer on it and brought it up with this Holly 750. Which, this might be just enough fuel for this build. But it's a good, I might have to turn it down. But good little carburetor. But that's the top end. Yeah, you can see I got it sitting on them big Mickey Thompsons. Well, that's my favorite part. I love those slicks. I got them off right now because I am going to break this truck in on street tires. You know, when I get out and start running it up down the road here, breaking the motor in, it, we're going <laughs> to burn those guys right there off. Now, another thing is we got, this is our top end setup, but I'm going to give you all a little, little peek here on what kind of ignition system. Now, guys, forgive me, not going to be able to see really good. It's a rainy, messy day. It's dark in here in the shop, but I'm thankful we got somewhere dry to work. That's an MSD distributor. It's got Excel. Uh, super cool wires. I know it's hard to see, forgive me guys. And I've got a MSD 6A L ignition box. Yeah, you got the old Morosos. High or a uh, tall valve covers also look so good, and then the big old air cleaner. But um, that's that's pretty much it. That's my top end. The little build, all it needs is a set of heads. And that's what's coming next, guys. Is the set of heads. Like y'all know, I'm just poor and <laughs> live on a budget. So this is a completely a budget build. So it's one thing at a time. Uh, I got this intake, I got it used, 75 bucks, this intake, when I first got it, it has set out in a field, man, and it was dirty, and been out in the weather, I picked it up, and bought it, and I mean, I spit shined it the best I could, cleaned it up, and I've actually used this intake on another 350. And it works really well. <laughs> I saved that intake from rusting up and just being completely wasted. It was, in, it was in a lot worse shape than it is now. Same ordeal with the carburetor. It was, it was used. Throw a little fresh rebuild kit in it. And we're good to go. Holly makes a good, a good carburetor. That's all I'll use for my hot rods. Now. 
in case you guys haven't followed the backstory, this engine right here, the backstory is on my Facebook page, but this engine was in a barn, and we seen it right up the road from the house, and I was coming home one day from work, and I seen this thing, and at the time, I needed a motor for a uh, blazer I was building for, you know, putting together, finishing to drive. Well, it took a Chevrolet motor. So, I stopped in there and asked him because it was sitting on a tire. Like, you know, maybe something's wrong with it or nothing's wrong with it. And I asked the guy, well, what was wrong with it? And he said, well, it was burning oil or it was using oil. So, uh, he had pulled it out of a dump truck. And I asked him, uh, what size was it? And he said it was a 400 small block. I said, really? Well, I said, what would you take for it? I wanted it instantly when I heard it was 400. Uh, he said, would you give $125? And I didn't have but like, like 40 something dollars on me. I was like, yeah, yeah. Take all I got and I'll go get the rest. I didn't even know how I was going to get the rest. Luckily, my wife was right there. I told her what I needed. And she went right down there, forked the money out because she had it and I didn't. And she bought me this motor. And we took it home, tore it apart. And uh, to my surprise, when I jerked the heads off of it, they had some old cast iron heads on it. It wasn't no good, just old stock heads. But this motor had been rebuilt. And it was a 30 over engine that they had not, they had a broke ring. It had a uh, this dished pistons in it, and man, I'm talking about this thing was fresh from the machine shop. Like this dude is nice, clean. Like it had been fresh. They had put this motor together and drove it for a little, you know, trying to drive it, and it was burning oil. Well, that that's why that it was using oil and smoking is they had broke a ring putting the pistons in. This motor wasn't even properly broke in real good. When I got it, and we got it for 125 bucks, so when I got it, I tore into it and got rid of all that stock stuff besides the rods and put it back together to make a, a good, strong 355 out of it and make it work. But that's where I'm at with my engine. Uh, nothing crazy in this video, a little short, a little bit of rambling, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and help my young show. Show them a little love. But next video, man, we'll be doing some stuff with the old transmission. And it's got shift kit stuff going in it and stall. That's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I'm out.